Hamas is already today a completely different, shrunk, diminished terrorist threat, but it's still there. I don't think this is where the Israelis are going to end, but I think that moving forward, they will be able to do this in a much more counterterrorism uh, type of operation than a military one. Critical to do that is ending the hostage situation. I do think there is a particular push for it right now. It's in Biden's interest in terms of domestic politics. I think it's Biden's wanted this from the get-go because he's a close friend of Israel. There are Americans who are still being held hostage. We just found out that an American that was thought to be held hostage actually was killed. Um, so this is very much an American issue. Um, the Israelis have their own interest in wanting to see this move forward. Uh, the way that this is being fought is, is costing them standing in the international community. Um, and so all these things together uh, uh, create a situation where maybe something will happen. Hamas has been very uh, instrangent because I'm not convinced that Hamas is eager for a deal. Hamas is very, very happy for things to happen such that Israel's standing falls, falls more, its relationship with its key weapon suppliers deteriorates. I think Hamas sees that as overall a much more strategically important goal. And I think because Israeli not only military and security leaders who've realized this for a long time, but even the political leaders are recognizing that to really deal with Hamas as a counterterrorism issue, you, you, you got to deal with the hostages first. Um, they are putting a huge push to resolving this.